Good morning, friends. It is so good to be with you uh, on this beautiful day, uh, this Friday morning. Uh, I wanted to share with you just some of the upcoming events of this weekend. Uh, we have a town hall meeting on Sunday uh, at noon following our 1030 service to talk about our God-sized budget. And this will be an opportunity for you to share some of your dreams as well. And it is our hope that by creating a God-sized, mission-driven budget, uh, we'll be able to continue to do the work that God has given us to do here in Ellicott City. Following our town hall at one o'clock, we should have a great afternoon with a parish tailgate. And so I encourage you to bring a picnic, bring chairs, wear your favorite team jersey, as we just spend some time together in community. And we are so blessed to have the talents of Katie Tish uh, with us that Sunday afternoon providing entertainment. Katie is quite the prolific singer-songwriter and I'm just blown away by the level of her talent. And so that's going to be a great treat for all of us, as well as a pumpkin hunt for our younger members. Well, this time of year, there is so much going on on our campus, as you can imagine. And this Saturday is no different. We have our Parish Day School Family Fun Day, as well as an open house in the morning. And so there are lots of folks that will be around enjoying the beautiful campus that you steward so well. And then on November 6th, we're going to have a parish cleanup, uh, which should be just a fun day to, again, get together, but to get our campus ready for winter. And you can sign up for that on our parish website on the homepage. I do want to talk to you a little bit today about um, stewardship and what that means. For me, when I think of stewardship and why I give, I am just so encouraged by the way that so many of you share God's love to the wider community. How we live into this idea of being uh, followers and students of Jesus, and you do that in so many beautiful ways. For that reason, because I want to be a part of embodying that love for our wider community, um, I, I love to give and I give from a place of um, joy as opposed to oh, just one more thing that I have to do. And so I encourage you this year to think of the many ways that St. John's has impacted your life and the life of the wider world, particularly during this time of pandemic. Because of your support, we were able to stay connected as a community of faith. We were able to offer online worship so that more people could stay connected with all that we were doing here at St. John's. And so I encourage you as you prayerfully consider your pledge, I ask you, give sacrificially, but give from a place of joy and love rather than duty and ah shucks. This is just something that we have to go through every year that's painful. Because for me, it's not painful. It's a real gift to be able to give to the mission and ministry here at St. John's. You know, in our gospel this week, we have another healing story. We have the healing of the blind beggar. And Jesus asked the same question that he asked last week in that healing story. What is it that you want me to do for you? And so I invite you to again consider, maybe what are you afraid to ask Jesus for? To pray on that, and then in your prayer, bring that to Christ. Well, I'm so grateful to be part of this wonderful community, and I offer my blessings to you all. And until we see each other once again on uh, Sunday, may God Stay with you, may God's love shine down upon you, and may God continue to hold you in the palm of God's hands. Blessings to you all.